everybody, it's the tech guy Scott here at NAB 2012. We're at the Black Magic booth with Simon. Now listen, I got to tell you guys, this is probably the busiest and most sought after booth at the show. Unbelievable amount of traffic here. There's a big announcement happening. They've got something that's brand new and may turn indie filmmaking on its side. Thanks, well that's a great introduction. Yeah, yesterday morning at 9 a.m. we showed the world for the first time the new Black Magic Design Cinema Camera. And this really is incredibly exciting. I, I have to interrupt you. Tell me the price because I think this feels like a late night infomercial, but tell me about the price. I mean, it's really, really expensive. It's a $3,000 camera. It's two nine nine five. And, and, and for that crazy, crazy <laughs> amount of money, what does this camera do? Why is it so? Why is there so much interest? Okay, so the really amazing thing about this is that for a camera of that price, this does 13 stops of wide dynamic range. So you're getting a real film quality with this camera. Uh, it features interchangeable optics, so you can take your Canon lens or your Zeiss lens and fit it straight with the EF compatible mount. Um, the images are recorded directly to a built-in SSD, and this features um, a standard two and a half inch SSD slot there for drives of any length. So you could get a 32 gig all the way through to maybe a 5, 12 gig drive, depending on how long you want to record for. It features standard open connections for a quarter inch jack for audio. Uh, you've got standard headphone jack socket in there as well. There's a remote for LAN C, uh, because eventually some people are going to want to put these on pedestals, maybe use them in studios as well. Uh, you've got an SDI out on there and you've got the power connector. So real standard, easy to use connections right on the side of the camera and all in one place. It's even got a Thunderbolt port built onto the camera. So you could take the camera on set and you could link to a Thunderbolt computer and have live scopes because we include the Ultrascope software free with the camera. We also include free with the camera DaVinci Resolve 9, which is our award-winning color correction product. Wow. So, you know, this really is incredible what people are gonna be able to do with this. We think that independent filmmakers, uh, creative documentary makers, uh, TVCs, maybe VFX, this is a camera that for the first time gives them the ability to use the optics they want to use with the shallow depth of field and record with open file formats. The raw uncompressed 12-bit gets recorded to cinema DNG files, but also within the Blackmagic Cinema camera, you can record to ProRes or DNX HD. So it's a camera that's really designed for workflow, for post-production workflows. The camera has a capacitive touchscreen built into the back. So you click on the touchscreen and you get the Blackmagic slate. This touchscreen allows you to enter metadata um, that will be read by your nonlinear edit application. So simply, I'll show you how this works because it's really cool. Um, we have a project name, we get real scene, shot, take numbers, all standard metadata fields. And if I want to change this, and all of a sudden, I don't want it to be birds of the wetlands, but I'm going to um, click on this, and I'm going to call it birds of the wild instead. I enter that, and it's changed my project name. Metadata, I click off, and there's my camera view. So whenever I'm recording with this camera, and I'm, and I'm seeing my image on there, simple click on the screen, there comes my slate. All of the data I enter comes straight through to my edit application. That's going to save people hours you'll see that this is a camera without loads of complicated buttons to operate. So what we can do is we can go into a menu structure, and there we go, all of my settings in terms of audio levels. You'll see channel one is currently set to 66%. If I click on that, nice. I've got complete control over that. Slide rule, nice. Yeah, yeah. so I, I've got camera settings there. I've got um, all of my record formats, uh, my frame rates, uh, all the way up to 30 frames per second. Um, I've then got a whole load of different options that I can control, but it's right in the same capacitive touchscreen. So talk to us a little bit about what went into the design, how you guys came up with this, again, very innovative concept. Sure, I mean, I think when I looked at it at first, I thought it's kind of retro and futuristic all in one, which is, which is kind of strange. I think that the, the choice of materials is really interesting in that we'd say solid aluminum casing, so it's very durable. It's going to withstand use on set. Lightweight, of course. Lightweight. It's under four pounds in weight. With regards to battery life, uh, it runs on its, it's got an internal lithium ion polymer battery, uh, rechargeable. Uh, that runs for 90 minutes um, on its battery. 
you can charge the camera or operate the camera from pretty much any 12 volt source. The power range is 12 to 30 volts. Uh, I've seen a couple of people online yesterday say, well, okay, maybe the battery power is not that long at 90 minutes, but heck, take a car battery with you. You could power this for a week. Um, nice. You could power it from any external batteries. Uh, you could even power at the image sensor from the Thunderbolt connection. So you could power this from a laptop. Well, listen, obviously there's a, an amazing amount of interest here, and, and I see why. The camera is, it really is truly innovative. It's really exciting. I want to thank you for it, and congratulations. Thanks, Scott. We need to get out of the way so some more people can see it.